A Sacramento mom says her credit card company left her on the hook for credit card fraud in France. Rose Moxley was there with her daughter a few months back when she lost her credit card. Now Chase texted her a fraud alert after nearly $500 in fraudulent charges. Well, she confirmed the fraud and Chase removed those charges, but then the bank reinstated them, calling them valid. It was kind of amazing because, you know, I have a lot of financial balls in the air at any given time and um, I expect companies to maybe not be very nice, but at least do their job. Well, Rose says they weren't even in Paris the day of those transactions. She sent evidence copies of the train tickets proving she and her daughter traveled west of Versailles while sightseeing there. Her Chase credit card shows somebody went on a spending spree on the eastern side of Paris, most of it on this street. 21 different transactions totaling the $480 in fraudulent charges. Now, that may have you wondering what should you do if your credit card company denies your fraud claim? Well, first, I would file a police report because when you do that, you're risking perjuring yourself if you're not telling the truth, and that gives it more weight. Now, use that when you appeal with your credit card company and include any other documentation proving you did not make those charges. For example, exactly what Rose did showing she had train tickets and she was somewhere else. Now, if that doesn't work, you could file a complaint online with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, in fact, we found 2,000 uh, 600 Californians have filed complaints to the agency over disputed credit card charges since 2020. Now, after we reached out to Chase, they reviewed Rose's claim and they dropped those fraudulent charges.